As human beings, we have a natural desire to interact with others. It's a flaw in evolution. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> now, on the days when your kids are with you hanging out, it's not a problem. But on the other days, you're going to want some company. So I'm not talking about wife 2.0. <laughs> Never again! And I can't have a dog because my uh, apartment complex won't allow it. And uh, I hate fish. So I figured out the next best thing, a house plant. Now you can go to the store and buy yourself a plant. And I don't know about you, I don't want to be lectured by some garden aisle overeducated botanist. <laughs> Seriously though, it's like, I'm not going to neglect the plant! Just give it to me! They didn't sell me the plant, but here I am today, and I'm going to help you make your own. So, once you're done with those peanuts, get yourself some dirt, and you're ready to go. Now all you need is a seed. Find yourself an apple, eat it, then put the seeds in the dirt, and that's it. You're going to watch as your apple tree grows in your living room, supplying you a lifetime of apples. We hope. So, give yourself a cutting board. Warm up. Get yourself a knife. Get to that seed. Yeah. Then take your cork, get it right down in the dirt. Get it down there. Yeah. <laughs> now we just need water. Now remember, never over water your plant. About good. <laughs> Last but not least, I've got to give this little guy a name. What do you think? Reggie. I like Reggie. It's my new pal, my new co-host, my new roommate. <laughs> I get top bunk. <laughs> I get top bunk. We'll see you next time on Ted Tantrum. Ted Tantrum, Ted Tantrum, he'll teach you if he can. Ted Tantrum, Ted Tantrum. The self-reliant man